purpose of the inspections to me a lot of times really is to bring us up to where we need to be. Uh, if no one ever inspected us, we would basically run along and we'd be fine, but we wouldn't be fine-tuned and we wouldn't be, uh, maybe we'd be missing some things that we should be paying attention to. And that's the Air Force's way, the way I look at it, is keeping you in line. When we get notified uh, that we're going to be inspected, uh, we begin taking, well, first of all, we take a self-inspection checklist and uh, there's hundreds of questions in there pertaining to every aspect of your job and answer those questions and make sure we are indeed doing those items. And after we get done with all that research and we go out and we do the fix phase, we start fixing things and, and making sure that everything is where it should be. Uh, not that they'll look at everything, but you never know what they're going to look at, so you want to cover everything. What this all accomplishes in the process is it makes and ensures that the Air Force's way of ensuring that you are training your folks, that you're teaching them the safe things, you know, um, the right way of doing things, using the technical data, and that is huge. I mean, literally line by line of the TO, uh, so that nothing is missed and everything is done in a safe manner, including wearing your PPE, your personal protective equipment, so you not only have the burden of getting all the questions answered correctly and making sure that your programs are online, but you also got to remember that your folks need to be in. And with traditionals, it's a little more uh, of a job to make sure that they are ready for the tasks that they may be presented because they're signed off in their TBAs or their training records. Uh, the challenges uh, are very big, I think, even more for the Guard because uh, the Air Force is full-time. All their folks are full-time, they're there all the time. And in the Guard, again, you have the weekend folks, and um, they're just as vulnerable as the full-time people. Matter of fact, they prefer to look at those folks to see if you are training them. And I think that this day and age, when I first arrived here, it wasn't as involved with the traditionals as it is now. We, we take a self-inspection checklist uh, each year, and we're supposed to be running through it to be ready. Every four years you usually get a boots on the ground from the team to check it out. So it's running right now four years roughly. It basically says seeing that we got an excellent that we comply very well and it just shows to uh, them, the Air Force or even other guard units that uh, Burlington, Vermont cares and we try to do it by the book. I mean and it's like a report card being taught right, are you learning right, are you doing the right things, and you get your report card and when you see it, you can be proud of it and uh, that paves the way for the big and be bigger and better things in our future.